How are you? I hope things have been good. If I had to restart self-improvement, if I had to start all over again, right from the very beginning, day one, which probably quite a few of you are at right now, maybe you're in your first week, your first month, but you're just starting, what would I do? Knowing everything that I do now, after being on self-improvement for nearly two years, I'm gonna reveal those four things to you in this video. So stick to the end. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. There are something known as the four pillars of self-improvement, but actually took me quite a while to like understand them to the depth that I know now, but I never used to know that there were four pillars of self-improvement. Now, it varies from people to people. People have different views of what the four pillars are, but for me, from what I've personally experienced, I'm going to tell you the four pillars that I have basically been doing. Reading, exercise, gratitude, and meditation. Now, some people have different ones. They have physical, mental, financial, and emotional, but that's kind of broad and it doesn't really narrow it down for you. So that's why I created my own one because it's a bit more specific and, I, and, and it can probably help out a little bit more. I'll start with the first one, reading. Reading is important. And I don't mean like stuff that's not beneficial to you. You know, like what's the first thing that can come to mind? Like manga, I suppose. I don't read manga, so I don't know. But I'm talking about books that actually have like productive information that you're genuinely invested in. I have two books, which are examples of what I mean. Two books that I have read over and over again. So I know them from experience and I know that they're good books to re recommend. The first one is Where the Superior Man. And the second one is Wabi Sabi, which is actually a Japanese technique book. Both of them are in my description and I hugely recommend giving them a read. They're like 10 quid each, I think. When you read and you're just piling up information about a certain topic of something you want to progress in, having all this information beforehand makes it much, much easier to make progress in the thing that you want to do. So say for example, you're trying to become financially free. You know, I think a lot of people's dreams, especially like young guys like me, or what I've experienced with my friends who are young guys like me, I, one of the biggest things that we would like to achieve is to be able to earn 10K a month. So maybe for you, it's the same. You're trying to start your own online business and it's hard. Read books that can help you actually understand the knowledge behind it, behind making a business. You've got Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You've got loads, loads of books out there which could help you understand the information behind it, which could actually really help you make progress. The second one is exercise. Exercise is great. It's really, really important. This is one of my most favorite things out of uh, self-improvement. It's one of the things that took the hardest to get into, but it's the thing that I've come to love the most. I'm just gonna hold down the camera for a sec. We're currently in a storm in England, so it's very windy. Uh, so my camera keeps trying to die on me. It's trying to commit seppuku. I should have really recorded inside today, but it's super windy. <laughs> but I'm out here already, so. Exercise is great. I've come to love it, and it's genuinely made, not only do you make physical progress, you start going to the gym, you actually start eating healthier, you start focusing on like your physical gains, your physical looks, you start focusing on how to look better. Not only do you make such a huge amount of physical growth and physical progress, you make so much of a mental progress as well. If I think back to when I was before I started going to the gym, addicted to video games, addicted to drinking, working a nine to five, and that mental mindset I was in, I was almost like depressed where I felt like it compared to when I started actually exercising. I'm like a different person right now. I'm literally almost like a different person. Just gonna hold the camera for a little bit longer. It is very windy. And then you've got gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most amazing things on actually thinking positive. Being more grateful or doing something known as gratitude journaling, where you write 10 things that you're grateful about, really help force my brain into a more positive set thinking, which makes a huge difference. You know, when I first started on self-improvement, I literally, I had such a negative set way of thinking. This is a huge difference that this made, and I wish I did it sooner. And then the last one, 
The last one is meditation. Meditating really helped just build on a mental growth. It made me way more mindful, way more present, way less prone to overthinking and being stressed and being way more calm and collected and being way more appreciative of the current present moment. Meditation, and I only do like 10 to 30 minutes in the morning. That is not a lot, but that is enough to have made a huge amount of mental growth and actually help fix my mental health. I wish I knew that these were the four pillars of self-improvement when I first started. And if I knew this when I first started on self-improvement, I would have made a lot of progress. But I'm glad that I know it now because I can help tell it to others just like you. You know, some people do wonder like, what is self-development? What even is it? What is the aim? What is the goal? Self-development, its goal, self-improvement is to improve the mental side of things, your physical side of things, and your financial side of things. When you've improved your mental health, your physical health, and your financial health, you feel like a different person. And that is what self-improvement, self-development is aiming to do for you. Literally, if you wanna take your first step right now, right, there's one thing I could do, I could tell you right now, which would be your very, very first step on self-improvement, and that is nature. Go outside right now and go climb a tree. Go climb a tree or do what I'm doing right now and go sit on a tree, literally right now. If you went out right now and you just went and go climbed a tree, I guarantee you that you would have the biggest smile on your face. We don't go into nature enough, even though there are so many benefits to it. That would be your very, very first small little step on self-improvement. I've been trying to make more longer, meaningful videos. So if you like this one, another one will pop up in the corner and I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this because this could help you out just like this video has. And if you're not subscribed, there's a high chance that you will never ever find this channel again. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.